This is the second example of how to determine the frequency response of electrical circuits using the impedance method. Um, in this case I have a series LRC circuit. Um, the input here is labelled as V in and the output I'm going to take as being the voltage across the resistor. So um, once again this is my general expression for the frequency response of the system. So H of omega is the frequency response that's equal to Y of omega, the output um, all over the x of omega, which is my input. So it's the frequency content of my input. So um, very similar to the previous example, the output voltage V out will be equal to V in using the potential divider rule. In this case, it'll be R. Well, let's make this a bit go through a few more steps. So it's the impedance of the resistor or all over the impedance of the resistor or plus the impedance of the capacitor plus the impedance of the inductor. Well, again, that's just a potential divider rule. So that's going to be equal to or all over or plus the impedance of the capacitor which is 1 over J omega C plus the impedance of the uh, inductor, which is J omega L, multiplied by V in. Okay. Now, well, again, what I want is an expression of the output over the input. So, by bringing V in across that um, the equal sign, I will have V out. I'll change the color. V out all over V in will be equal to R all over or plus 1 over j omega c plus j omega l. Um, can't really simplify that much. We could just multiply by again by j omega c above and below. Um, and that'd be or j omega c or maybe slightly easier j omega or c. Um, all over J omega or C plus uh, well that'd be a minus minus omega squared L C plus one. Okay, uh, so that's a second example. That's the frequency response here of this system up here. If the output is taken as being the voltage across the resistor. Um, of course the frequency response would change if you took a different output voltage. So for example, I could take it as being the voltage across the capacitor. Just let me change the colour to show you that. So I could have selected this as being the output. And of course that would have an impact on the frequency response of the system. Um, but you should be able to do those calculations. So maybe try that as an example determine the frequency response of the system if the output voltage was the voltage across the capacitor. Okay, thanks.